All right, so today we're going to be hunting some liquid damage. We're going to continue trying to find it. And I think I have an idea where the liquid's going to be on this board. Where it always is. Where you are never going to think to look. Even if you have a power supply, even if you have free spray, there's one spot on this board that I know nobody ever thinks to look, and I can tell before even ripping, before even going through, exactly where it's going to be. And I hope that after this video, that you will also be an expert in hunting liquid damage. Now, let's do a little bit of estimating what's going on here. So when I plug in the charger, I don't get a green light. Now, as you guys know, the green light is created via the one-wire circuit, which I've demonstrated uh, several hundred thousand times. So I'm not going to go in and demonstrate that again. But if you'd like, you can watch any one of my videos on the one-wire circuit. I'll try to remember to put one here in the cards, which... I'll probably forget to put it there in the cards, uh, but I'll try to put one here in the cards where I explain it. But in order for the one-wire circuit to work, which is the circuit that allows the SMC to communicate with the charger, so a green light will come on, PP3V42, meaning the 3.42-volt power rail on the board, has to show up. And if we were to measure that rail, if we were to measure it, meaning putting the multimeter where the camera actually sees it and having it not fall off the desk, pour into voltage mode, Black probe is going to go on ground. Red probe, or we expect PP3V42. We get zero volts. Now, I have zero volts on that power rail. So the next thing I want to do is I want to see if there's a short to ground. So I'm going to go over to ohms. I'm going to go over to diode mode because it gets me a nice fast measurement. I'm going to take the red probe and I'm going to place it on ground. And now I'm going to take the black probe and I'm going to place that where PP3V42 should be. And as you can see, we have a zero voltage drop between our power line and ground. So PP3V42 is directly shorted to ground. Now, one of the ways that we can try and figure out where we should look before we even get into this stuff of injecting voltage into the board or anything crazy like that is we can just look at the, uh, at the board view and we can try to find everywhere that PP3V42 shows up on this model motherboard. So let's see if I can find where I put the schematic for this model motherboard. Because I think I accidentally just clicked erase on it. Ah, oh, never mind. That would have sucked. So what I like to do is I like to try to find every single spot on the board where PP3v42 is going to show up. So I'm just going to show you that right now. Hopefully you can see what I see. I used to use the second monitor, but for some reason my second monitor died. So now I just have to kind of guess as to what you see. So, this is everywhere in the board. So what I do is I hit N, and then I can type in PP3V42, and it's going to show me where PP3V42 shows up. Everywhere in the board. So anything that has a path to ground can be a part. So we're going to go over this board and where PP3V42 shows up. I'm going to have this in the corner, and I'm also going to have the microscope in the corner, which is going to mean this one. And hopefully the microscope camera will not freeze, because the microscope camera likes to freeze all the time. Now that's, that's what it does. So... I reinstalled the driver to it. I'm going to see if that fixes the problem. I was this close to buying an Osprey because it's like a eight nine hundred. I think it was like eight or nine hundred dollar card with dual HDMI input. I was pretty close to buying an Osprey, and what happened is, I was about to hit add to cart. I hit add to cart. I was about to hit buy. I was about to hit buy. Just closed it and buy, and then I saw that it was like eight hundred bucks, and it's like, you know what? Maybe I'll try reinstalling that driver first. <laughs> And I decided to try reinstalling the driver because I don't want to spend 800 bucks. I, mean, I don't know what it is. It's just like, I, oh, man, you just get to a point where you're just done spending money. And I passed that point long ago. Anyway, so we're just going to go through the board. And oh, I want you to be able to see. Hello. Here we go. So I want you to see the board view and this. And hopefully it's not blocking out too much of the screen. So we're going to look by the SMCs. Is that's where PP3V42 shows up. And I don't see any signs of liquid damage. I don't see any liquid damage to be hunted here. We're going to look over here, since this is another point that it shows up, and I don't see any liquid damage to be hunted there. We look on the keyboard connector, and yeah, I just don't see any liquid to get hunted there. I don't see any. So we continue onwards and onwards, and we look where the actual coil for PP3V42 is. No liquid there. We look in the ISL659 area, where nothing there. We look over here, and oh. What's this? I think I found... Eh. If that's, I don't know if that's liquid, but if it is, that's kind of weak. And I don't even think that thing has PP3V42. 
Now we look in the corner. All right, so here's the thing. This is what gets people. You could see some corrosion over here, right? This corrosion, this stuff, is is sometimes not there. What gets people is this. You see this? You see this? The, the, this foam? The liquid hides under the foam. So even if you spray the free spray, the free spray doesn't get under the foam. And if you don't take off the foam, you'll never see that, that little shitty cap for the audio circuit. Whoop! See? Came right off. So I'm going to use Jessa Jones's patented method of professional repair. Jessa Jones's patented method of professional repair, which is not to, <laughs> not to use the hot air station or the soldering tweezers, but to just go boop and just knock the capacitor right off the fucking board uh, with no regard to the pads and no regard to the board. And Yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah, shoot me. What do you want from me? So... We're going to plug it in and see if it turns on. So we knocked off that capacitor. And it looks like we have a... Well, we, we have a light in the charger that you literally can't see. Because of the... F there we go. The camera light was very strong. And that the exposure had to adjust. We got the light. And then we have a fan spin. Hey. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're hard. Don't, don't, don't stop, don't, stop looking at me like that, man. Don't make me feel guilty. You have any idea how many times I sit here and I spend six hours and I don't get anything done? Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. No, 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 no. I'm not listening to that with a no fix, no fee model. You're not guilting me. You're not guilting me. Cut it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. I'm even going to put the capacitor back. How about that? I'm even going to put the capacitor back on. Do you really think I wasn't going to put the capacitor back on? Is that what you think of me? This is data. I totally wouldn't put the capacitor back on. Is it just me or does that microscope look better since I reinstalled the driver? I mean, I, I, could, be, I, could, be, I, I could be just telling myself that. To me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just telling myself that. That looks pretty nice. That looks pretty nice. I may just be able to keep this this, this junky, this Sanford and Son truck of a capture set up after all. Okay. And we're even going to get rid of the cap next to it because I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, I'll take this. I will take this and I'll run with this. This is the, this is the joy of the no fix, no fee model. And this is the joy of the solutions-based building model. Sometimes... You have no idea how many videos I've done where it's like two hours in and it is just a complete, utter nightmare and I get nothing that don't make it to YouTube. But this, yeah, you know what? I'll take an easy one every now and then. Also, easy is something that you kind of have to define by, um, how do I say it? Easy is subjective, you know? It's easy after you spend the hundreds of hours to get to this point. But before then, it's not easy. Everything's easy once you know how to do it. All right. So now we're going to put those capacitors there. We'll scan for any other kind of nastiness. Literally, the genius bar could have fixed this board. I mean, I want you to think about this. Like, what is required? Eh, I really should use the smaller nozzle here since I'm by the SD card slot. Like, what? Tell me what is required to do this. You could, you could have fixed this with a friggin' pencil eraser. Just knock on it. Let's lower our air since we buy some ports. Oh, joy, the smell of that foam burning is so beautiful.
And we gotta flow the other one into place. While we're flowing the second one in, the first one is gonna flow. And also, any of the damage under what I imagine is either a headphone amp or a speaker amp I see will get nicely reflowed and cleaned out my flux. Ugh, foam. What the f I don't want any foam there. Go away. These alcohol dispensers are cancer. See this little desk alcohol spent? Let's look at this. It's probably going to work now that I have it on camera. How many times do I have to hit it before? There we go. And all the hits I did before, before some alcohol comes out of it. Oh, well. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.